What's up guys, James here, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm playing Orb.Farm. This is a Chrome game that you can simply access by just typing in Orb.Farm into the website, and you'll get this game. Looks a bit retro, but it was actually made pretty recently, like eight months ago. So it, basically, what this game is, is it's inspired by this thing called an ecosphere. If you don't know what that is, it's an enclosed ecosystem that you can make at home, inside of a jar, or a glass ball in this case. It's pretty popular online, but not everybody knows what it is. So that's what this was inspired by, but this is a digital simulation of one. It's one of those games you just let run in the background while you do stuff, or like if you're bored, or at nighttime you just want to relax a bit, do something like watch a video or listen to some music, read a book. That's what the purpose of this game is. So I'm gonna, I've actually played it already, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to play it. And also, trying out some new stuff myself, because I've only been playing this for a couple days. So basically, there's this stuff on the side here which allows you to place stuff down. So there's stone, sand, wood, glass, all this stuff here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make an aquarium here. This is like an aquarium builder. That's the oxygen meter right there. Too much is bad and too little is bad. That really doesn't matter, that's just going to fall into the void. All right, let's grow some plants in here. I can slow it down, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to speed it up. And I'm going to aquascape a bit, which is like terraforming, but underwater. I'm just going to place some stone down, make some spires, and we can place some sand down as well, which I'm going to use for like planting grass. It's like seeds, pretty much. This requires the sand to grow. Put down some bacteria, that's gonna make the oxygen drop a ton. That way I can actually get some life in here, which I'll start with Daphnia. Which is like water fleas. They look pretty gross, I'll put a picture up on the screen. I'm gonna reset here, I'm just gonna make a normal one without any terraforming, just to like show the basics. I like to fill it full with water. You guys don't have to, but you can if you want. I like to, and then you can like place sand here, and yes, you can destroy the glass if you want, and destroy everything. And you can also place it back, so like if I want, I can make an extension here. You could let this grow yourself, or you could shape it. I, I like making like kelp structures. I think it looks really neat. If I want to, I could even like connect these. Let's try doing that actually. Yeah, and then smooth it out a bit like that. And you can see there's these things here. These are like objects you can unlock and place down. And there's, I'm gonna throw in some more algae, and even start getting some animals in here. So I'll place some Daphnia eggs there. A lot. I can start throwing in fish as well. Normal fish, and then goldfish. Slow it down a bit. And you can see here, it really is like a simulation. There's wood, which you can use to like build structures. But it is shady, it's gonna kill off some of this stuff here that doesn't get sunlight. To just show you some of the possibilities of this game, I'm gonna build something really insane here, and then I'm gonna speed it up.
So as you can see here, I made this large tree. I'm and you don't even have to make it specific to underwater, although all the animals here and like life forms are for underwater. The grass works on land as well. I'll show you an example of that. You can see here I made like a little island and then I put some grass on top. I can even make really cool structures here. You can make archways and caves. Like if I do this and then I clear it out here, I can make like a cool and <laughs> or that can happen. See this game has a lot of potential and tons of fun. Just create a miniature map, figure out a way to get it sustaining, and just let it run in the background, you're gonna have a great time. Even if you're you're a madman, you wanna just cause some chaos, just do this. There are some things I don't like. It's the fact that the glass can't go far away. Like, it it stops. Like, you saw earlier I can edit here, but it stops right here. So you've got, like, two quads, quadrants, I don't know the name, of the screen that, like, you can't use. Also, fish can't, like, the, the pixels aren't, like, 3D. Like, the fish can't go in front of the kelp, so... If you put a lot, it'll just get like stuck in the maze-like pattern like that. But I mean, apart from that, the game is great. It's relaxing, it's fun. It's got tons, endless possibility, endless. Like, look at this, I can like draw a smiley face here. And it'll look really bad, but if I didn't do that originally, it would look better. Still bad though, but better. So I'll, I will be linking this game in the description. And I suggest that you check it out yourself because it is a great game. And I'll see you on the next one.